Hi, welcome to the Native Wildman channel. Your host, Sean Catfish Wilson, speaking today, and it's going to be another tea day. I'm going to do it either Tuesdays or Thursdays. I'm going to try to remember, or if I'm not too wore out from work, anyways. So, today I am going to treat you to my own blend of tea. The first ingredient is peppermint. And that's also the main ingredient. And I got the peppermint from Ellen's Planted Teas. See, I'm going to take some nice, generous spoonfuls of it about. It's a real minty tea, so I will do four to start off with. <clears throat> then my next ingredient is rose hips and rose petals. And I'm going to do about three decent blah, 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 spoonfuls of that. Okay, now that we're done with the rose, I'm going to check. And this is making 42 ounces of tea. My next ingredient... is lavender um you can see little lavender flowers in a grab not very many about almost a full spoonful of the lavender And, okay, checking the level. I'm going to add a little bit more mint, too, to the top of it. I don't know why, because I'm just going to shake it around. But, you know, because the last ingredient is lemon peel, which I also got from Ellen's Planted Teas. I got the lavender and the rose from uh, On the Wild Side. And with the lemon, just like the lavender, you don't want very much lemon. So we will put a wee bit of lemon in there. Ooh, that smells really good shutting the lemon package. Said I'm going to add a little bit more, well, mint. Go. That's a good level. And I'm going to take it and kind of mix it around. I just rinsed the old tea out of it, so it's got Earl Grey in it. Maybe touches of Earl Grey. Okay. And then I put it in the teapot. Now we're going to get the hot water, and I brought it to a boil, and then I turned it off and got everything prepared so it's not quite boiling temperature. It's under boiling temperature, which is good, because you don't want the water boiling all the way. And then... We add the water, or miss it. All right. 
<clears throat> I will look at the time on here. It's 5.10ish. So we'll give it about three minutes, which will make it around 7.10. I'll put the cap on. And now we sit and wait. Ben and I also got gate mall. Trusty tea mug. The tea mug. And it's green. Oh, wait, no, seven. That's eight minutes, not seven. I can't math. Eight minutes. Eight minutes, ten seconds, not seven minutes, ten seconds. That's only two minutes. We want it in there at least. Three, three minutes, three to five minutes. With the uh, lavender and the lemon in it, you can easily oversteep the tea, which will taint the flavor or change the flavor. It won't be as good most of the time. I, I can uh, leave Earl Grey in all day, especially if it's a Harney's and Son brand. It's I'll, I'll leave it in, but if it's the stuff I make from Ellen's Planted Teas, which is a better, a higher quality Earl Grey, a better tasting one, not by much, but it, it definitely, I mean, noticeably better, but I, I think you know what I'm trying to say more than what I'm trying to say. <laughs> The Rock of the Week, <clears throat> Jasper. <clears throat> and it looks like it's been time. I'm going to give it one final swirl. Let the stuff drain out. Remember, it is hot. Don't burn yourself. And you're freshly made a brewed thing of hot tea. the tea it has a little few floating particles in it from the ingredients they're dry ingredients so they're gonna turn to dust mmm smell the minty goodness in there Assemble everything. I'm gonna move my teapot out of the way real quick, like. I 
that out of the way. And my friends, this is what I call Native Wild Man's Floral Herbal. Because it's a mix of flowers and herbs. refreshing this is a very refreshing tea peace and long life my friends